Hello, Mars Logos. Today, I'll be explaining modular arithmetic with this particular examples on the board. Um, the example number one is on additions of modular arithmetic. The example number two is on subtractions of modular arithmetic. Example number three is on multiplications. And example number four and five are on or simple equations in modular arithmetic. So the first thing I'm going to do is to define what modular arithmetic is and explain it before we jump straight into solving this question. So what is modular arithmetic? Now, modular arithmetic is an operation that gives remainder when an integer is divided by a fixed non-zero integer. A fixed non-zero integer. Now, in another way around, what is modular arithmetic? Modular arithmetic is the operation that gives remainder when a number is divided by a fixed number. Now, what is an integer? An integer, integers are basically um, numbers from negative infinity to positive infinity. They are very large numbers from negative infinity to positive infinity. So I talked about a fixed number, a fixed number. Um, is referring to base example just like what we have in number base system we have base 2 base 3 base 4 base 5 base 6 and and all that also in modular arithmetic those base are called modes so we have mode mode 3 mode 4 mode 5 mode 6 mode 7 mode 8 and it goes up like that okay if you're given a question if you're given a question how do you go about solving the question? So let's say you're given um, this. You're given 12, mode 5. So you're asked to find 12 in mode 5. Now, if you re recall the numbers in mode 5, numbers in mode 5 are mode 5. Numbers in mode 5 are 0, 1, 2, 3, and 4. So the highest number in mode 5 is 4. The highest number in mode 5 is 4. So there's no 5 in mode 5. So 2, 12 is now, 12 is now what? Um, 2 times 5 plus 2, all in mode 5. 2 times 5. Now, 2 times 5 is what? 10. 10 plus 2 is what? 12. So, recall that in mode 5, there's no 5, right? So, this 5 now becomes 0. So, this becomes 0. And we have 2 times what? 0 plus 2, all in mode 5. Now, 2 times 0 is what? 0. So, we have 2 mode 5. So, 12 mode 5 has been reduced. 12 mode 5 has been reduced to what? 2 mode 5 so this is how to go about what solving questions in modular arithmetic so let's use that particular idea to solve all the questions we have here all right so i'll go straight into solving what the first number so solution one is 29 plus 16, mode 8. So the question is, what is 29 plus 16 in mode 8? Now, 29 plus 16 is what? 9 plus 6 is 15. 15, you write 5 and carry 1, right? So you have 2 plus uh, the 1 is 3 plus. That 1 is what? 4. So this is equally what? 45, mode 8. So the question is, what is 45 in mode 8? Because generally there's no 45 in mode 8. So what we do is what? Divide 45 by what? The base 8, base 8, and write down what? The remainder. So 40 divided by 8 gives us what? Um, 5. So 5 times 8 is 40 plus 5. So this is now 5 times 8 plus 5 all in base 8 now 5 times 8 is 40 plus 5 is 45 so this is what now since in base 8 we since in base 8 there's no 8 
so this this one here this one here become zero so we have five times zero plus five all in mode eight so five times zero is what zero and we have five mode eight so this is our answer so um 29 plus 16 mode 8 has been reduced to what 5 mode 8 okay 5 mode 8 okay so let's jump straight into the second question 29 minus 16 mode 5 now 29 minus 15 is 13 so this is 13 mode 5 so the question is basically to be for what 13 in mode what 5. So what is 13 in mode 5? What are we going to multiply by 5 plus the remainder to what get 13? So um 5 times 2 is 10 plus 3 is what 13. So this is 5 uh 2 okay 2 times what 5 plus 3 in mode 5 here yeah, is 13. So you recall that in mode 5 there's no 5, so this is 0. So this is 2 times 0 plus 3, all in mode 5. So finally, our answer is 3 mode 5. So 29 minus 16 has been reduced to what? 3 mode 5. 3 mode 5. Okay. So also, since we are through with the, this first question, we are through with the second question, let's now go straight to what? Multiplication. And see 23 multiplied by 21 all in mode 24 is equal to now what is 23 multiplied by 21 20 multiplied by 21 is basically 483 all in mode 24 so the question is what is 400 83 in mode 24 very simple the mode here is what 24 so if we multiply the mode by what 20 we're going to get what 480 so this is what i mean 20 multiplied by 24 plus 3 mode 24 now 20 multiplied by 24 is 480 plus 3 gives us what 483 so and also, in mode 24, there's no 24, right? So this now is 0. So we have 20 times 0 plus 3 mode 24. So our answer is 3 mode 24. That's the answer. 3 mode 24. Very simple. Now, let's now go straight to what? Um, solving the simple equations in modular arithmetic so this is d which is x square plus one to be equal to two all in mode four mode four all right now this now this is a very simple this is a very simple uh, question here what we're going to do is to take one to the other side that's the right hand side it becomes minus and we have this x squared is equal to 2 minus 1 mode 4 close bracket now 2 minus 1 is what 1 right so this is now x squared is equal to 1 mode 4 so the next thing we're going to do here is to take the root of both sides so the root of x here the root of x here is what x x and the root of one is plus or minus one so plus or minus one all in mode four all in mode four now plus or one minus one means we have a we have a minus one we have x to be equal to minus one and x to be equal to what plus one now also recall that in in modular arithmetic there's nothing like minus one also just like in number base there's nothing like what minus one 
So what are, what we are going to do here is to add the minus one to the to the mode. The question here is what is in mode four. So if we add that minus one to what the mode, we get three as our answer. So this is now x to be equal to plus one or minus one. So therefore x is now equal to plus one or minus one plus what plus four, which is equal to what three. Uh, and finally, our answer is what plus one and plus three, plus one and plus three. All right. So um, let's now quickly solve the last question, and we are done with this. So the last question is very simple, which is question. Last question is very simple, which is what question E is two open bracket x minus five. To be equal to two open bracket mode eight. So since we have a two here and we have a two here, we can cancel cancel out right. Let's divide both sides by what two. So we have two here, we have two here. These two cancel these two. These two cancel these two, and we are left with x x minus five to be equal to what mode eight. So basically, if minus five crosses equal its sign to the right hand side, as to this side becomes plus so this is now this is now what five year open bracket mode eight and this is the final answer so thank you guys for watching